concept of sanctuary, it's really ancient. It's the holy place. A place that is set apart from the world. When you're in the presence of the God, the God is in control, not the outside world. Just where is it that the church begins, that the God's realm begins, and the world ends? And can you hide in there between the two? But I think there's another argument here that is much more important, which is the, the question of whether or not Christianity expects you to stand against injustice. So it's a moral question. So I, as a Christian, I'm taking this stand that what is being done to you is immoral and I will protect you. One of the problems, of course, with law is that when you get real people involved, there are real people, real stories. I mean, obviously, this is an act of desperation. You don't lock yourself in a church and not come out unless you were desperate and you feel that you have no other recourse but to turn to God. The, the fact that you believe you can is really quite remarkable because this is not something that's been legal anywhere <laughs> for a very long time. But clearly the, the, the cultural memory of God can protect you, the people of God will protect you, is very, very deep. Two, in order to leave the United States and return to her home country, is sinking sanctuary now, tonight. She is an undocumented immigrant from Honduras. She actually was uh, fleeing domestic violence back in 2014. This is the first church in Utah to offer sanctuary to someone who was supposed to be deported. And again, Vicki, an undocumented immigrant, was scheduled to take a plane to Honduras tonight. But in the last couple of hours, we learned she was going to stay. She was tired, I mean drained. You can see a lot of tension being just, just lifted from her shoulders. Let's go, open the door, please. You know, truthfully, we found out about two hours before she came here. But we were ready. We were absolutely ready for her. We have no idea how long this will take, but we're, we're in it for the long haul. Ya estaba lista, maletas y todo para irme para Honduras. Pero al momento en el que pues nos empezamos a despedir de toda la familia, pues fue donde empecé yo a sentirme como, ¿por qué me las llevo a las niñas que van a ir a hacer a Honduras? ¿Dónde van a vivir? ¿Dónde van a dormir? ¿Qué vamos a comer? Sí. Y aparte, pues sí, si llegábamos a Honduras, pues sí, vas a tener que estar escondidas, encerradas, no íbamos a poder salir, la niña no iba a poder ir a la escuela. So, decidí quedarme, luchar. The sermon on Sunday is about um, migration in a hostile world. I think we need to, as a culture, really re-examine um, who our neighbors are. And this is certainly not the time 
to build walls between neighbors. Now is the time to love our neighbors as ourselves. There's one thing to talk about compassion from the pulpit, another thing entirely to open your hearts in a compassionate way and welcome someone into your, into your sanctuary. Y ayer viene mi maestra de inglés y, y lo ve y se echa a reír. Y esto es la parte de atrás. Eso, entonces lo descosturamos con John esta mañana para poder costurarlo ahorita así. Para sí, este lado. No me lo puedo creer. Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tan rápido aprendiste cómo hacerlo? Ay, pues hay que aprenderle. Sí. Uh, ¿Huh? Mira. Pretty. And now you can use the color pink. Thank you. Your mm -hmm. English is good. Thank you. Me halagan tus palabras. Huh? Me hacen sentir bien tus palabras. Así? Mm. My friend Paisley used to show me how to make turquoise. You miss Paisley? Yeah. Right now, we have seen no evidence of ice. Maybe it's because they haven't gotten their plan together, maybe because this is a church. But so far, uh, it has been a, um, a relief not to, not to have them in sight, and uh, I hope it stays that way. Que tengo fe en Dios y de que ya pues pronto nos, nos podemos ir y... Y Dios quiera pues que sea pronto, que no sea todo esto para largo. That she could come and be given shelter is really powerful. And it speaks well of our society that there are still people who will do this. It's also uh, quite an amazing act on the part of the people in the church. Because it's a Unitarian church, they don't tie back to that medieval tradition at all. What they're tying to is their, their personal moral stance, the way in which they feel that they must live their lives in relationship to good and evil. And you're presented with a clear personal case of injustice. Their response is equally clear, which we have to help her, no matter what the law says, because there is a higher law. God commands that we should love our neighbors as ourselves. And who wouldn't feel that <laughs> confronted with a woman with her small children? Mm -hmm. 